Hey, hey everyone. Uh, if I look a little red to you, it's because we're in a... You're wearing red, huh? Yeah. No, <laughs> my, my, look at my face. It's all like sunburn. Don't it look sunburn? No, oh. on the, on the on screen a, on it monitor. does. On the monitor. Well, yeah, it does on there. In the studio. You look fine in there. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to look like I had a tan. I wouldn't say look fine, but you look good yourself. <laughs> He's starting. <laughs> hey, Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, I have to announce, folks, this is a major, major breakthrough for this show. Even though it's in the process of being redesigned, uh, we got all the great talkers here, um, <laughs> is that we have now gotten a total audience of seven people. Now that's big time. <laughs> On a serious note, folks, if you don't talk to your representatives, if you don't talk to your, I don't know who else in the state of Connecticut, but they're trying to get rid of these kind of setups, uh, the Access TV. Um, it's it's nonprofit, and yet they're trying to do. They're trying to. They're going to try to get away with getting rid of it. And the only way they're not going to be able to is people got to speak up. They, they got to contact these people. If you can find um, what's what's her name? That invisible woman we just. But this is this is separate from Breezeline mm -hmm. now, right? No, it's it is a connection here somehow. Hey, Drew. Drew, is this, is this still connected to BreezeLine somehow? Uh, we're still on the BreezeLine system, but we're a 501c3 SEC TV. So I don't know. It, it's, it's a little complicated to me. Uh, we still f receive some indirect funding from oh, cable okay. providers. Because I think I'm going to be going back getting some TV with BreezeLine on. They gave me a better deal. Uh, really? A good, well, um, for everything? No, well, the thing is, I got this offer from Xfinity, fifty dollars for internet plus fifteen dollars for TV. Ah, I went to Xfinity and they said, I wish they would put all the fee, you know, what they're supposed to be. It's not fifteen dollars. And he said you can hook up for the fifteen for one TV, and then you could get the Xfinity app and put that on your other TV. So it's still, and it's basic TV, and with all the fees everything it came to 140 well I called up BreezeLine because mine is I only have internet it's 64 something with with taxes and change so my new deal would have been like hundred twenty dollars for just internet well with the one TV and they even have their own app you could put that on the TV it would be like 135 plus they will come in with the box for, you know, the person will come in for free. Xfinity was going to charge forty to sixty dollars. So I mean, it's somewhere along the line. What do you have now? Just all I have is internet. Oh, but I have Roku TV, which allows us to get a lot of different things. My wife subscribes to Netflix, so we get that. And Amazon. And where have, do you get that from, though? What Roku? Yeah, I mean, you can buy a Roku at, at Walmart. I know, but how does? How do you get all them stations without paying for them? Because stations? it's it's through the Roku system or through a uh, the Firefly. Um, so you just buy the, you just stick. buy that. That's just it. Just buy that and connect to your TV, and it's everything else is you know I mean Tubi TV or YouTube. A lot of the stuff you can get for free. Certain mm -hmm. stuff, yeah. If you really want certain kind of movies or something, you'd have to pay for it. You know, I think on YouTube. Somehow, I don't know how to do it, but... Oh yeah, folks, by the way, if you want to watch these shows, they're not live, but you can watch what happens today to catch up. Um, you can, we're on YouTube. Uh, it goes right to YouTube after the show's over, and within a quick kind of amount of time, you know, you can, you can view the show. So with that said, I forgot what I was gonna say before that. <laughs> Karen. Yes. What's cooking with the seniors? Well, let's see. We have a life enrichment. Yeah, what exactly, up. what does that do? Uh, it's an evening program. Well, that's a and start. You, and you learn different things. So this one is the 13th of June, and it's uh, Pinky, who is going to do Zumba Gold. <laughs> what the hell is that? Well, it's exercise. Oh. You know. And, I mean, we allot two hours, but seldom takes two hours. You do an hour of the show, and then, or an hour of the program, and then you eat for another hour. 
so they do exercise <laughs> and then they eat. <laughs> Sounds like the life of a senior. Didn't, didn't they take you to, where was it? Uh, one week they were going to take you somewhere, oh, Essex train station or? or oh, no, oh, yeah. they're not taking me. Huh? They're not taking me. They're not taking you? No, because they don't put anybody with walkers on them. Oh, that's not right. Tell me about that, it. That's that's discrimination. That that's a discrimination. Um, you gotta call them people racist. <laughs> no, they, they, there's a um, a thing le a legal situation regarding that that they. Um, well, they say you know there's you have to go up the steps to get on the train and yada yada yada. Oh, you mean somebody in a wheelchair can't get on the train? Yeah. Occupational hazard or preventative. That. Yeah. I mean, it's. But I'm not in a wheelchair. Right, I, I know, but still, I mean, if or weren't you going to go to like? No, the reason is because the 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 walker takes too much space. It folds up. They fold That's up. That's what I was telling. They could. I wonder if they could. I would get an attorney. Class action suit. You probably get enough yeah, money to, to retire. Yeah, everything else happened. Let's. They, they could. <laughs> why not? Right. <laughs> so what? And then weren't you supposed to be going to where was it? Mystic or, or Grand? No, that one there. That one. Oh, come on. Open up. Wow. Wrong page. So well prepared. <laughs> well, I've got it. Uh, yeah, what did you come with? Essex steam train and the boat ride. The boat ride. And you'd ha have dinner on the train. I've done that before, but yeah. not the dinner part. Yeah, we yeah. did. Well, we've done it before, too. Didn't have any problems. But, yes. And there are other things in, in uh, June. The first Wednesday, we're going to a baseball game at Dodd Stadium. And then the first Friday, the 7th, we're going to the Juneteenth celebration at Hempstead House. Okay. And then the 12th, which is I think is a Wednesday, we're going to Pinspiration, which is uh, I don't know making stuff. <laughs> and then the 19th, there's no trip. And then the 28th, Essex. Okay. So that's what's coming up this week. This month. Not this month. So that's if all our drivers show up. <laughs> well, you know. So that's that's what's happening. We have something interesting though coming in August. What is that? This is an all day picnic. Where? It's in uh, Prospect. Okay, I don't know. What Prospect? Yeah. Is that the city? Yeah. I have no idea where Prospect is. Well, that's a, I guess it's north. But um, <laughs> they've got a lot well, of stuff. it down. From, not, from <laughs> 9 to 4, you know, they're feeding you all day. Can't take food out. Do you have to be over a certain age? Yes, you have to be 65. I think it's 65. It says something. Are place. they going to have beds to take a nap? <laughs> <laughs> you bring so your own. Somebody be driving by I with know, their I'm kids. I would need one. <laughs> People be driving well, by with their kids. And what kids I have saying, to find out, and I'll find out by next week, folks. If you get it with this, it's forty-five dollars. But New London is only twenty. So let me ask you: How many people can fit on the bus? Oh, they're taking a big bus. Oh, okay. So it would be what fifty-five or something. So they're gonna party on the bus on the way up. And nap yeah. on the way back. You've got to find out where Prospect is. I mean, I think I know. I think yeah, it's up I, north somewhere, like you were north. saying, up past Norwich and all that. Yeah. Probably quite a ways up north, too. Uh, I don't know. About 395. Yeah. Anyway, I, okay. okay. So, anyway, that's what's coming up there. Chair number that's three. In August. Chair number three. <laughs> You're on. Um, oh, that's so it. there's <laughs> there's the. John Russell contacted me to come down to, what's the store called? Toby. Golden Treasures? Homestead. Oh, yeah, the Homestead, yeah. The Homestead. <clears throat> and asked to sign a petition, and if you would like to go down, this is, he's doing a petition to have a... Referendum. 
a, for a, random, a referendum to get the taxes lowered. Get the a, a city budget lowered. Well, the city budget. He can't yeah. do anything with the school budget. No. And what's interesting is that... Which is crazy. Mike, well, uh, John's assessment on his property went up 70%. Um, I didn't know. On his business said, or his, his own his house? house, he said, which was surprising because the average. Why. It's in a cultural district. That's where all the money's going. No, no, his house, which is not in that district, but. Oh, it's not? No. Well, I'll take that back. He doesn't, he doesn't live. I thought he lived in, I thought he lived in town. No. No. Oh, well, not, yeah, but not, not downtown. Oh, okay. um, and so if you want to get. Go down to his the building on Golden, sign the petition. Um, I said, "Is anything going to come of this?" Because we have the dumbest council. <laughs> We've got five, or is it six, seven six, people? Six, seven. Well, what I've seven, been so there for the last except for one person, months. you have the Who's dumbest that? city council probably in the state of Connecticut. And I heard this also from a higher up who said, except for the, who agreed with me, except for one person, the council is about as dumb as a, as a dumb as dirt. They really are. And unfortunately, they can't do anything about the school budget, which, which I don't understand. Passero, I talked to Passero. Well, he can't. said he can't do anything about the Why? school budget because they don't. They don't. They're not in charge of the school budget. Don't the money that's so you don't give it to them. I no, no. personally think the the school budget ought to be totally. Uh, I think what it is cut is because did you know that there are 139 teachers getting fired from Enfield? Oh, I see teachers getting laid off all over. Why the place. are they getting fired from Enfield? Because they have a nine million dollar deficit, at least nine. Yeah, it was, it was one, one million three years ago, I think you said. It's now up to nine because the way they spent money. Well, the way that this school system, which sucks, New London school system sucks. It's been this way for years. We're in the lowest 5% of, of this state. Nothing ever changes that except country. what, except that the employees get raises. They keep hiring superintendent of schools and pay that person more and more money every time they change every superintendent. Year. And the superintendent is not, I don't care what she is, she may be the nicest person in, in the world, but incompetent. Why aren't the scores going up? That's, that's it. If, if you're going to make that kind of money, you need to show why you're, why you're making that right. kind of money. So, the same thing goes, basically, I, don't, I think there's only really one department I give a damn about in the city of New London. That's the park, parks, um, the public works, Yeah. who they work their tail end off. Well, I, I care for public works, um, police, and firemen. That, that's those, the Okay, three. those three. You're right. You're right. Those three, police and firemen. You have I, adequate... Uh, people in those departments yeah. and you and they're making your city look clean and making it feel safe then it's worth their money. Right. But there's a lot of money going out to the police department in this budget. I mean in this but, agenda. Uh, Passero told me he was going to try to do something about lowering the budget again next year. Oh, yeah, next year. <laughs> I mean the bu it's coming out at well, look. We had the 60% increase in revaluation. He had to cut the budget. He can't keep it at 37 eight. With everything, that I want to know with everything coming into this city, with all these apartment right. buildings, with all these businesses downtown, which for some reason the, the city council seems to think that we have to give them more like a $50,000 $50, bonus to come here. No, no, you want to come here and maybe make a fortune, you do it, but I'm not going to pay you to come here and do it. Th that's true. <sighs> Why are we even paying people? Did, remember I told you a couple of weeks ago that IHOP wants to come to? Yeah. Well, they are now th thinking differently because they need, they want a tax break. Well, you can't, how are you going to give them a tax break? 
I mean, or you're giving everybody else a tax the break. Po the point is. They know what you begging wanna, for business You want to come into this town. You want to go into any town. Pay the taxes. But so my prediction is they're not going to get the, either the, if they get the tax break, they'll be here. But if they don't get the tax break, they're probably not going to come because they're looking at 30, 20 or 30 other locations in New England. Now, I know one, uh, a, a couple of them locally. It could be Waterford. It could be, um, where was it? Whatever. But. Oh, yeah, I know that place. <laughs> everything. What comes to New London? What person in their right mind comes to New London? People that have never actually been to New London. Mm -hmm. They read all the hype. And what and is being done here. with the, the music? How much building has been done for the Coast Guard Academy uh, Museum? It seems like the, something to do with the foundations have been laid. Um, now they're looking for different contractors to do different phases of it. They're, they're taking bids. Why um, wasn't this done I before? Thought that was, yeah. Why you start a project like that right. and you don't have the electricians, the plumbers, the carpenters, and so forth and so on already lined up to jump in? Because now we go into another summer and then when are they going to start working on it again? Right. You know, when they go full blast on that place, it's going to change downtown. First of all, it's going to make it people freaking crazy because the traffic and stuff like that is going to be so insane for and, a year oh yeah we're not, and they're going to have to change the roads around i don't care what they say because you're not going to be able to control that kind of um people coming into the city we, we were never set up for that and they think that oh so 250,000 people a year that's nothing we don't need to change anything bullshit or oh, as a little kid on, on um facebook would say bullshit 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 <laughs> Yeah, you got to see the that. The thing kid. is, He's what great. are they going to? Are they going to drive here, or are they going to come by train, or are they going to come by boat? All of the above. For when? Train? For how long? For how long? A know. year? Maybe a year. A two years? They've been there once. They're not coming back. That that's very probably very true. And that bridge that they want to put, they ain't going to use that bridge. I'm sorry. No, we're going to end up having bridge, You go into a city parking lot now. And you get in the hallway to go upstairs or the elevator, and you'll die from urine. You won't be able to breathe, and you have to. And they want to put two and you, more. And you have to probably step over a few people to get to the top. And level. they want to put two or three more levels on that bridge. On they got to. They, they, I think they did want to put four, three or four. But the thing is, if if you get a chance, go up to the top, and look across the tracks, and you'll see that from that point, straight across to build uh, whatever they're going to build on the other side, you'd be going into or under the high power wi wires. Right. So that thing's got to go up, and it's, I'm sure it's going to have to be so many feet away from them wires. I mean, you're not going to just like be over it that much. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to be over it. So I, I think, like everything New London does, <laughs> do, do you remember the, the cobblestone <laughs> State Street situate debacle that was? Yeah, what was that called? That was before Captain's I got Walk. Here. Captain's Walk, uh, and and the Capitol Theater has got a sign on it again for sale. I mean, now. So the guy gets the Capitol Theater for a dollar, and now he stands to make millions. That's oh, what. That's he, real genius. Look at what the guy did at the senior I, center. You know what? I can't see him making millions because nobody's going to put anything there. I, he'll surprised. get some. He'll make more. He'll make money. The next part, next to City Hall. I finally passed the old church site, piled up with boulders. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. That's going to be there forever. Who is going to remediate that whole thing? We're stuck with this because we have idiots running this city. And we have the population in New London doesn't change. They don't care. All they're going to do is vote Democrat to keep this city the way it is. And it's... Look, I am I'm not registered Republican. I'm registered independent. But I certainly will never vote for a Democrat again. There's a lot of Republicans I wouldn't vote for either. There's all, sure. And I talked to John about it. I mean, who in, who in their right mind would run under a Republican ticket in this town? You're never going to get elected. Something's got to change. It's got to hit the, Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be the, the um, inflation that's going to do it. 
I don't know. I think there's two things down the road that are going to do it. Illegal, my, illegal aliens coming in and taking people's jobs. And, and it's no, I don't put the blame on them. I put the blame on the people letting them in to do that. But, hey, it's like... That let them come you, in? You, no, no. If you, if you have a family, which a lot of these... Well, anyways, all right. Yeah, no, it's, um, I mean, I wanted... Uh, there was... I oh, here they are. So, this gentleman, his... Well, who is this name? Um, his name is Jerry Smith. And he's a proud black Republican running in the one race that will decide control of the U.S. Senate. You know who he's running against? Murphy. Yes. <laughs> he's running against Chris Murphy. And they're... That's why I've been seeing them on They're TV. burning crosses in my front yard, and that's what Joe Biden Democrats do when they find out that I am black, a, a black Republican. It's disgusting, and I am going to destroy them this November. You know what? <sighs> Jerry, I wish you a lot of luck. N not going to happen in this state. I hope he wins because I would love to get rid of that idiot Murphy. Well, you can't right now. He's doing a walk across Connecticut. So I invite. I no. No, I can't say that. I just wish I had. He has a millions lot of eggs. to wipe me and every American first patriot off the map. He needs the support. I'm sorry. I get emails every oh, yeah, day by the I don't know how many. Support. I need money. I'm like, you know what? I don't need money. I don't have the money. Don't well, I'd, I'd be in the poorhouse if I gave everybody wanted money, money. Give me, you know what? Send something to me. If you I haven't had a raise in three years. I work my ass off. 48 years being a physical therapist and you don't get paid the kind of money you probably should. But I enjoy my job. I enjoy helping people. I've treated people for 48 years. I'm not looking for any kind of accolades or anything like that. Because I worked my, I wanted something, I worked for it. But I am tired of giving these idiots standing in the middle of the media and saying, oh, I'm homeless, please help. Yeah. Get a damn job. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It really is amazing. So. This, this city is not going, two years. What? It'll be 2026. Yes. That country will be 250 years old. Well, that's it. And we're done. Yep, we're done. Rome only went 250 years. Every other great 200, empire 250 years and only that's went it. so long. Because, because people realize the government should be taking care of us. No, they shouldn't. No, they shouldn't. They should be there to help us. But they're, that they, have, they need priorities with their money, with, with our money. They don't. It's like the friggin' consul, the mayor, the fire chief, the uh, police chief, all them. They know that we are their bosses. We're paying them. They don't care about that. Well, they don't care about they it. They don't but care if, about okay, it. Okay, so what happened if Because 7, they know 000, they're going to get voted in no matter what. What happened if 7,000 people, including some Democrats, said, we ain't going for this no more. Uh, write their names down because I, I want to see it. All right. Let's switch gears here for a minute. Um, I don't know how many of you use the uh, transfer station. I use it. But I got this thing and it tells you how much it costs you to do certain things, whether you're a resident or a non-resident. And if you're a resident and you're producing a ton of garbage, or you bring a ton of garbage to the transfer station, mm -hmm. it's going to cost you $80. What resident is going to bring a ton of garbage to the it, transfer station? Did it station? say a ton? Yes. And I think this is more for businesses. Probably. And, and then the same thing with bulky waste, $85 a ton. Now, brush and leaves, you can take to the transfer station. And as you drive into the gate, on your left is where you dump it. Right. And it doesn't cost you anything. Wrong. No, it don't. Oh, yes, it, it doesn't does. doesn't cost me. I went, well, yes and no. First of all, they have certain number of days a year that they will pick it up at your house. Yes, twice but, a year. No, it could be three or four times because we did it. Oh. Especially in the- well, in, you're on in the, the mayor's street. In, no, 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 no. Especially, <laughs> it's 
especially in the, in the fall, you know, for the leaves and stuff. But I brought the whole bunch there, and he goes, it's going to be $5. I said, $5? I'm a resident. He goes, well, that's, you know what? Mm. I'll, I'll pass it this time, next time, but go across the street where you said. But if, if you have to bring it there, they'll, they'll probably charge, or they'll want to charge you $5. I've never been charged. I hope you don't, but that's what... But still, that's not bad, $5. No, you no. can't complain. Now, if you bring car tires, it's going to cost you $3 a tire. Truck tires is $6 a tire. Earth-moving tires... Now, who is a resident in a city and has earth-moving tires? But anyways, $60 each. Um, air conditioners are $15 each. Refrigerators are $15. Freezers are $15. Mattresses and box springs, there is no charge. I would have thought there'd be a charge for that. What about TVs? I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I'm getting there. Um, toilets are $5. <laughs> Recyclables. Paper, bottles, and cans, no charge. Antifreeze, no charge. Car batteries, no charge. Clothes, textiles, no charge. Electronics, no charge. Fluorescent light bulbs, no charge. Scrap metal, no charge. Waste oil, no charge. Now, that's not too bad. No, it's not too bad, but I, recyclables. Don't bring them to the dump. Oh, some Recycle people them. do. Clothes. There are so many clothes bins around now in town. Drop them off. They need these clothes. Yeah, I, I, I've never seen anybody bring clothes no. or recyclables there. No, I think I've You brought, can bring your old paint there, too. Yeah. Which is yeah, good. So, um, I've, I think I've brought TVs there or, whatever, oh, yeah, or a computer, them. and they didn't charge. Oh, it's over there, and just drop it off in the thing. Um, so I just, I don't know, I just thought I'd bring this in and no, let everybody I mean, know. No, I, I have no problem with them. They, they do a good job. Now, we were talking a little bit earlier, you were talking about it, and I agree with you, that um, we have all these special months and special days and all this, but not a whole lot for white people. So... Um, you said June 13th or something like that, they're having a thing at the Hempstead House? What was that? Yeah, that's, well, they're celebrating June 10th. Yeah, but I mean, what's the, what's the holiday? June 10th. What's well, June 10th? Was that Juneteenth? That, that, yeah. Okay, so is, explain what, what holiday that is and for who. There's too many holidays in this I country. Know. They need to get rid of probably 80% of the holidays. Yeah. Anyways, I would like to see, not just for white people, but um, people that believe in the country, that have lost people that fought for this country. But I think July 4th, they should have a big shindig at the Hempstead House. Well, it's, Dennis, it's, we just had one. Where, where yeah, but I'm, I'm, where'd this holiday come from? I don't remember no Juneteenth it's, when I was I do. a kid. I, 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 just the, don't, I don't know where it came from. It's but the black. other thing, we just, um, Dennis, we just had a holiday. What we have? Memorial Day. I know it. Oh, speaking of which, all you people out there, what the hell is wrong with you? You don't care about all the people that died to make your life a free life or tried to? How many relatives you got that died? Or that came back with oh, limbs the press missing? Is, progressives are going to say it never happened. Oh, well, they're idiots. The reason I'm yelling is because I took a ride around town on Memorial Day. I'm the only person on my street with an American flag on the porch. I didn't see flags anywhere. Or if I did, I, you could probably count them on two hands. Have you all just given up? You know, has the media got people to the point where they, they just don't care no more? Probably. Then what the hell are we doing fighting any wars? If you want to slaughter We're a bunch of young the men, war. Biden, are you kidding? Biden's giving all the money to to uh, Iran, like Obama did. What a schmuck he was. He he is so un-American; it's unbelievable. All right, so and then there, are, I think there are two flags on my street, and I was call, I got a phone call today to to put my uh, flag at half mast. Well, because I couldn't I couldn't do mine at half mast. I don't have that kind of flag. Well, call. I, I'm going to change it back. It's almost on the ground. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm well, going to change it, it back. Why is it half past? Huh? Who died? It wasn't who died. <laughs> well, why is it, it half past? It was because of the guy on his hat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, shoot, I should have put my flag out upside down. Not upside down. No, but that's another what, That's distress. another. That's Alito's wife. 
Yeah, but it's it's saying that it's a distress signal. Mm -hmm. It's countries in trouble, and people don't believe that. So you guys have heard of the you've heard the song "Help" by the Beatles. Yes. Okay. Well, John Lennon wrote that. Well, he played a certain guitar in that song. It went to auction. You know how much it pulled in? Two point eight million dollars for the guitar. For the guitar. Holy crap! Can you imagine that? Save your old guitars, folks. Right. <laughs> so, North Korea... I've got to give it to somebody famous to play it in order to get that. <laughs> Let's just make it up. So, North Korea has found a new way to push somebody to the point of a war, and that's South Korea. You know what they're doing? Yes. What? <laughs> they fill balloons <laughs> with, <laughs> with waste. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe that. That's what they and then they then they floated what? over south. Yeah, they <laughs> filled balloons with waste and stuff and, and garbage. Then, I mean helium and then probably throwing it and, all. over. And then they send it over South Korea to, <laughs> to pollute South Korea. Yeah, they, 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 people, are, <laughs> you know what? To keep to keep your population as dumb as you you are. That's what Korea is. North Korea is. <laughs> Actually, that's what that's what Russia is. And that I mean because it's. They don't know what's going on re in the real world. They have no idea. Putin keeps them stupid. Keeps who stupid? They're his people. Oh, yeah. You can't go against well, what he says. That's what communism is. I, I think um, a few people have tried to, to work. Yeah, they him. have. And it's, it happened with a whole bunch of um, Chinese so did this you week also. Oh, yeah? Oh, why? What, what happened there? Th there was a whole bunch of people who were going against oh, Xi Jinping and then... And, well, they got caught, and they're probably going to get killed. So, and I got, did you read this? Oh, yes. Go ahead. What, about the bear? <laughs> yes. You read that too? <laughs> and you don't bring anything? I did in my head. <laughs> I don't know what, what the obsession is with people that just want to kill anything that moves. I, what about the bear? He was, the, of the course, it, the, the way they're saying that's that he went through a window, uh -huh. went into the people's house, and... When he got shot, he was eating an apple pie. Now, I think it's more he, apple pie was on the windowsill. And he was going up to the window to get it. And then they shot it. I, well, are you hear different? No, no, no. I mean, the lady went out and called the, the, the authorities and yeah. they came and used it. I think my, my problem is I want to make a pet out of everybody, <laughs> everything like this. Um, there was a story a long, long time ago about, in, I think it was in Minnesota, in a barn, and, uh, in a house, and he had a bear cub, a lion cub, and a tiger cub. This ain't no bodge over here. And they showed the picture of them. They're all getting together, natural enemies. They're all getting together. They don't know any different. Then the next picture you show, they're all grown, and they're frolicking with each other yeah. and everything. was like... I would do that. I would love it. Um, people keep telling me, why don't you get a cat? Or I mean, I don't want a cat. I want a real cat. I, w I would love a lion or a tiger. They're all real cats, Eric. Just okay. some are bigger than others. I know. <laughs> but, um, and nastier. You have a phone call. Holy mackerel. Let's see if I can get this right. That one? Middle? Hello, you on there? Hey, this is Carl again. How are you guys doing tonight? Good, Carl. Good. How are you How doing, are you doing, Carl? I just wanted to ask you guys a couple of questions about the taxes. Uh, I got my tax uh, assessment back a while ago, and they, they sent me a paper saying that I was penalized 10%. So I, I called and bitched about it, and when I called and talked to them, they said, well, you have to come down and come to an appeals meeting. So I said, okay, I'll come down. It was uh, the 15th of May. I came down. To the uh, assessor's office, I sat in front of a couple of gentlemen. One of them I knew who he was, and I told him, I said, you know, I've never gotten paperwork. To, I think one time in 25 years since I've had the place, since my parents passed away, that I got paperwork. You know, you have to put down how much you get for rent, so on and so forth. Well, I was told that you didn't have to fill the paperwork out. You didn't have to do it. I never got any more paperwork from the city at all, and they claim last year I didn't fill one out. So I've never gotten one but once. In the 25 or 26 years I've had the place, they said, well, you have to file 
the appeal. So I get on to the appeal, I tell them what, exactly what I just told you guys, and it seemed like it was going to go my way. A week later, I get the paperwork back saying, no change. So I'm saying, no change. So I called them up this week, and I said to the girl, you know, why was my appeal shot down? And she said, I can't answer that question. I said, what do you mean you can't answer the question? There's nothing uh, written down why it was, you know, why it was uh, shot down. She said, no, that's all you can do is go online and look up the minutes. I said, what's that going to do? You're not explaining why you shot it down. It just says no change. No change for what? You didn't believe me? Or, you know, what's the story? So that was the dumbest remark I've ever heard in my life. They couldn't explain why they uh, shot my appeal down. You didn't, Carl, you didn't go, when you had your appeal, or you didn't go in front of a couple of people and... Yes, I went in front of, actually, the two guys were um, Earl Wilson, who I've known for years, and uh, the other guy didn't look familiar. I think his last name was Ramos, and I didn't know, know who he was. So I sat in front of him, they asked me a few questions, and I told them just what, I've been, what I told you guys just now on the phone, and they said, okay, we'll get back to you. A week later, I get in the mail that they shot me down. It said, no change. So I called the assessor's office and talked to this young lady who's really nice. And I said, can't you explain why I was shot down? It said, no change. She says, I can't tell you. I don't have the, the, the information. I said, what do you mean you don't have the information? Yeah, well, she doesn't. She doesn't. You'd have to go and... Um, have to be in front of them two guys. And in front of those two guys and explain it. And I've been... I've um, appealed uh, twice for my... Tax. I won both appeals, but um, they're supposed to. I mean, I, the only the only one I remember was this little gentleman, older gentleman, in my first house, and he, I got it. I got assessed higher because I put a new roof on the house, and they they taxed me higher, so I appealed it. And I went in front of this gentleman and I told him, you're taxing me for putting a new roof on my house. I said, if I didn't put the roof on my house, would you have lowered the taxes? And he said, you have a good point there. And it's the last I heard from him and I got a letter saying I won the appeal, that my taxes were back to where they should be. But I would go back down again and, and talk, see if you could talk you to whomever. I don't, I don't think, if I'm not mistaken, Carl, I don't think you can. I think those appeal things are only around for like two weeks, three weeks. Yeah, that, that's it. But she said that it's not even on file. I said, what do you mean it's not on file? She's explaining why it was shot down. It's got to be something. That's ridiculous. And she said, no, the only thing you can find online is the uh, minutes of the meeting. I said, well, that's not telling me why they shot me down. So I thought it was kind of a joke going down there, really. I mean, it's, I'm hit with, uh, for sakes, let's see. My assessment was well, 100 and, let's see, now hold on, I'm not trying to see. I your assessment, lie. your assessment my, is my 70. My assessment was $233,200. What, is that the 70%? Well, but then they hit me with a 10% penalty, so it went up to 256520 I don't understand what the penalty is from. I don't understand what the penalty is from. The penalty is, uh, apparently every year or every other year, they send you paperwork to fill out showing how much you get for rent, so on and so forth, how much, you know, get done on the property. And I, I've only received it You don't get that. No, I don't. That I've had Carl, yes. Carl I, I, I have a, a tenant. I, I don't remember ever. The only thing I got from them this one time, the last time, was a thing talking about the, in, the taxes or whatever going up. They never asked me to fill out any paperwork. I could have went down and appealed it, and I think it was like for... This is going to go up like seven hundred and fifty dollars or something like that, I think. I don't know, but um, no, I I don't understand. It sounds like a whole different story than what I went through. They they sent me a paper, like I say, uh, eight maybe ten years ago. I'm not going to say who the uh, counselor was, and I explained to them. I said, why should I fill this out? I said, I live downstairs in my apartment. My aunt lives upstairs. I said, you know, I get a little rent from her, but you know, I mean. Why should I have to fill this paperwork out? So I got making a million dollars. And he said, you don't have to fill it out. So I never filled it out. Now, this past year, they claimed that they sent me a paper, which I never got. This was for last year for this new uh, tax uh, season. And they said I didn't fill it out. So that's why they, they penalized me 10%. That's why I went down to appeal it. But I couldn't even get a direct answer why they shot me down. With you, know, you know what I would do, Carl? I would contact the mayor. Ask for an appointment to sit down and talk with him. 
um, which is your right since actually you're his boss because you're paying his salary. Um, but be nice. And then I would write a, a piece for the paper and, and tell them everything you told us, see what they'll print in the paper. And maybe the more people do that, then maybe the appeals thing, people will start thinking, wow, you know what, whatever, whatever we got had scammed up is not going to work no it was, more. It was probably just a waste of time going down there. I mean, real, they, well, they were not, nice to me. They were nice. The questions were hard. You know, not was, really a waste of time. They got more money out of you. Well, yeah, that, and that's what's pissing me off because they didn't, you know, they didn't, they didn't put a reason why they shot it down. I was telling them the truth. I never got any letter. I mean, that's the, that's the bottom line. I never got any letter to fill out. If yeah. I got the letter, I'd fill it out. I never got it. Well, so I was pretty pissed off about it, but you know, like it's not much you can do. But when I get my tax bill, if it's quite a bit higher, they just might not get it all. If I'm gonna, I'll just pay it in installments. Hey, the worst thing that the city can do to you is put a lien on your house. And if you're gonna kick the bucket sometime in the in the future, and you got no one to leave your house to, pff, who cares? You want to lien yeah. the house? Lien it. I'm that, not gonna be there. That, that's not the point. Uh, I that, know you're right. It's point, not the point. The point is that they didn't follow through. With what the reason was why they shot it down. They That's just said, yeah. Oh, yeah. That That's is, not, I would. Shit. I would That's definitely. Not telling me nothing. Carl, They're I would really definitely go down. The go. girl was so nice. I couldn't argue <laughs> with the girl. She was nice, and she said, "I really can't explain it." She said, "You can go on the minutes and find out." But I said, "On the minutes, it's not going to show me why." She said, "No, it won't show, show you why they shot you down." Carl, said, go. Is that doing, man? Carl, go to go to um, City Hall, go up to the third floor. Make an appointment to see the mayor. Hope maybe he'll be in and he'll have five minutes that she, he could talk with you and explain the whole situation. Um, and, then, and then tell him if you don't resolve this problem that you're going to sue the city. You watch how fast it gets resolved. I tell you, it, it, he it, said, go joke. ahead. I mean, they're, they're catering to everybody else. And I'm like you guys were that, saying. That's, watching, that's a good point. I've been watching the show. And, and the, the council we got, they're a bunch of morons. Dominguez doesn't know his as ass from his elbow. Say, <laughs> we you know, know we know that, but get, no, why no, why does he keep getting reelected? Because up, because of the other idiots that, in this guy, town. The guy knows nothing. He's he's dumb as dirt, man. I'm sorry. Jeez. The wow. guy's an idiot. He shouldn't be on the council. And then you got the one that Mike Hudson used to always tease the woman. She's another jerk. She doesn't even she Who? came from California. She doesn't even know anything about uh, New London. Uh, I don't know what her name is, I forgot what Natartes, her name is. right? Yeah. No, hey, hey, don't forget, she has a wife, okay? Well, whatever, I don't care what she is. That doesn't matter. It's just that she doesn't know what the hell she's doing. It mattered doing. at a picnic I was at because <laughs> she had to tell everybody. You uh, all no, look, but you're right. You are right. She is an idiot. Well, I mean, the only one that really does anything, I know he's a Democrat, but at least he'll try to weeks. fight for people, is, is Saturday. It's yeah. like six she's got a D at people. the end of her name. That's all that matters. Everybody else is a, is a rubber stamp. They just stamp everything and they go along with it. They don't even have a brain of their own. It's ridiculous. Hey, Carl, I, I want to calm your blood pressure down a little bit. So I want to read a couple of things that we're going to be spending money on at the council meeting on Monday. This might make you happy. <laughs> Doubt it. Okay, so they're going to purchase a variety of gym equipment. For the police department. Well, I guess that ain't that bad. No, oh, that's not a bad idea. No, no. Okay. Sure um, there's also, and that's like $13,828. And then re they're going to get two new, three new copier machines that are going to cost the city, this is the police department, $25,000. Um, the city has, and then now they're going to spend another $600,000 for some more concrete sidewalks. Aren't they thrilling? Um, you know what they need to do, not to cut you off, Dennis, but no, they that's okay. the streets. The streets are ridiculous. They're oh. potholes that half of them are, are patched and half of them are, I don't know what you want to call them, you get bumped you, all over the place. The, the roads are pathetic in New London. That's you realize why that's happening, right? Unbelievable. Because there's a cultural district in downtown New London that is getting all the money. You look at these agendas, and I didn't see it that much in this one, but in past ones... <clears throat> They are pumping so much money into a certain small area downtown that starts where the firehouse and um, right. the store is and right. goes up to the God Theater, and that's yep. it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. moving right along, uh, let's see, cross camera controls in the amount of whatever the hell, 63000 approves the balance, funded in the amount of 26000 I think this is all for the police. Oh, here, here's the one that. Now, you remember some time back. Okay, there was a big thing where they had to paint the stripes 
on Golden Street in Unino, Unino Jail, which after they did it like two or three times, they just gave up on it and it kind of all got oh, run yeah. over. Mm-hmm. Well, the city council hereby approves a contract with Rico, boy, that sounds like a really uh, safe <laughs> name, uh, in the amount of $32,850 for the installation of a rainbow crosswalk at <laughs> Golden Street intersection. First of all, That's, I could paint the freaking thing for a thousand dollars. They're probably going to do something permanent. You can't well, paint the no, no, road and be permanent. The last time, I'm thinking they're going to pave oh. over it with like and and different color bricks or something. Like first of all, they shouldn't even be allowed to. That, no. that should go to, to us as a referendum because that's a waste of our tax well, dollars. Well, that, that's yeah. right, folks. And and you want to get a hold of John. Um, Oh, Sad Iron? No. Russell? Russell, thank you. Uh, John Russell down at his store on Golden Street. Yeah. If you get a chance, go there tomorrow. If you haven't already signed a petition, there's a petition running around for a referendum on the city side of the budget only. Right. So anyone that's listening, pass it go on. D- go down there. Please sign the petition because, um, <clears throat> I mean, this, this, it's no wonder the city has a reputation it it has, because it's been going, or it has gone to hell, and been dumped on since the 60s when they started taking federal dollars. Well, here's so, something, too, I'm sure you guys have heard, the waterfront uh, area down there where they put the parking uh, spots in, now mm-hmm. they, just, they, they, they decide they're going to pull them out of there, because everybody's <laughs> pitching it's such a safety hazard. It just dropped the project. They're not going to finish it. I you know, Carl, I went down to check that out, and it, I didn't see the problem with it. I mean, it's in a spot where it's, if you were to park there with your car before that, you ain't going to be able to get into where the parking spots are. And that's not a big section. The only time to me that that would be a problem having cars parked there is, like, uh, for sale fest or something. Uh, they probably won't allow them to park there for sale fest, but... But I, that's I, not I a big my, deal. On my Facebook page there, I looked on Facebook, and it said that they've discontinued it. They were going to stop it as of today. But see, that goes, that goes to show you when we <laughs> preach when we preach about people getting involved, that all went down, and nobody knew it was going to go down until no. it was done. No, absolutely. And, no. and that kind of stuff is going to keep on happening in this city until people freaking wake up. Don't wait for it to be your problem. But they Make do, it their problem. You know, they do this all the time. It oh, does. I know. <laughs> they I wait know. till they do it, it, it and then they get it, told about it. Carl, it's, it's people like you and people like us who give a damn. you got to remember, probably 80% of this city, the population of the city, they have no idea what's going on. No. And English. And they don't care. Yeah. They, don't, they don't care, and they just go right along with the flow. They just go right, the because floor. probably more than half of them are getting... Some sort of government assistance. All right, here, here's, a, here's a couple. Um, the city council hereby approves the contract extension with Tri-State Materials Testing Lab, LLC, in the amount of $112,500 odd dollars for additional material testing and inspection. Testing and inspection of, of what? what? Yeah, I was just going to say, I was going to say, for what? Testing for what? What, what are they testing? What, this city is actually know. testing for something? <laughs> You got me. And then here's the next one. Uh, the city council approves amendment number two with uh, Bryce Ford and Donnelly or something like that in the amount of $135,000 to continue project man- management services for the community recreation center project. So mm-hmm. they got someone that's making that kind of money for managing what? Cement blocks? Uh, it's ridiculous. Isn't the company that billing it should, you know, I don't, they, I don't know. Maybe they, they do need that. a long time ago. They should stop. They should stop taking care of the people that have been here for a while and the seniors, for Christ's sakes, instead of these idiots that just come into town and want to put a a, ho- a hotel up or they want to put a friggin' uh, store in or uh, an eatery and then they want a tax break. Come on, yeah, man, that's give me a break. It. Yeah, that's Why don't you want to give these people tax breaks? I mean, give us a yeah. tax break. <laughs> You know, Carl, we have less than three minutes left, so we're going to let you go and call back next week, okay? I will. If I'm, you know, last time I missed out is I got tied up doing something. But I, I try to listen to you guys every week, and if I got something to say, I will call. Okay. Well, tell, yeah, tell, tell your friends, too, to start watching. And, and hey, Carl, yes. if, if you see any blooms over your head, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> you 
guys have a great weekend. You too. too. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Carl. Okay, guys. I, I just want to. <clears throat> I know this when we did, we've been avoiding the situation with Trump and everything, and he gets convicted as sham. The whole oh, yeah. situation is a sham. It should get reversed on appeal and stuff. But this just opened up the entire realm of anybody. Yeah. Can get sued on a uh, on a federal charge by a local by a, a state authority. Right? Yeah. So, what the Republicans ought to do right now, and uh, unfortunately they're not together either, is file charges against Biden for what he did in. in um, um, they should have done that a long time ago. What, what, what's that? The war against Russia in. Um, Oh, 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 what's that country? I mean, all of a sudden it just, whatever it is. But he was there as a vice president and told him, you don't get oh, rid Ukraine. of that, that uh, lawyer. It was, it was Ukraine. Ukraine. You don't get rid of the lawyer who's filing something against my son. You're not getting any money. You're not getting your billion dollars. That's, that should have been a violation right there. That right there, Obama should have fired his ass. He, well, you can't fire him. But, well, when he, when he but, was president, and he could. Then for for, for committing think. treason... He's committed treason in this country for how many, for, for letting all these illegals in? That's treason. By forgiving student loans when the Supreme Court said you couldn't do it? That's another thing. The man is such a liar and such a moron. The main he, should, he should not be allowed, but then you're going to have another moron. The other thing is, for what Obama did about giving, what, 15, $150 billion dollars? Back to Iran? Yeah. Cash. Cash. Yeah. That should have been something. Go what after president? Hillary Clinton for doing what she did. Well, they should go after You want to start that? So, you should go back to when uh, Haiti had their first earthquake there, and the Clinton Foundation had all this money they were going to give to them, and they right. never made it. Way to go. So I'm telling you, this just opened up every president now, once they're done, is going to get... You, I wouldn't be surprised if you have lawsuits against them. The, and it should work for Biden. But right now, the problem with it is that so many people in Biden's world can't come back and say, look, we were wrong. We did this. We did this, did this because of either they'll end up dead or, you know, they'll go to jail or, or whatever. He's got the DOA. Is that it? DOA or DOE? Depart um, DOE, whatever it is. He's got these groups, the FBI and the Department of Justice. DOJ. Yeah in his back pocket. And now they can't go straight and do what's right because now they've already screwed up. So they're, they're stuck. A lot of people are being blackmailed, I think, now. I think Biden's a big one that's being blackmailed or threatened. This country is done, I keep telling people. I think Mother Nature's gonna take care of it all. I really do. There's too many freaking earthquakes going on, more than people even know. Yeah. If you get on onto Look up on places where there's earthquakes. There's a page where you can go and it'll tell you every day where there's earthquakes and California. the volcanoes. California. And, and oh, tornadoes. A lot of them, a lot of them in California. Right. We'll see you all next week. California. We're into some changes. You can't go a mile in California without a